Okay, if you want fast growth, fast results, then try combining some of these strategies. Okay, sure, you can stick to just one, but doing them all gives you more speed. And this is exactly what we did for our YouTube channel. And as a result, in the last 30 days alone, we've been able to generate 2,600 new subscribers on two different YouTube channels, which is why we're so confident that we will definitely break 10,000 new subscribers this year. How did 2020 and YouTubers collaborate last year? Well, they made COVIDs. <coughs> What's going on guys? Today we're talking about YouTube marketing and as we know by now, video marketing is so powerful. And we have been highly encouraging everyone we know to start thinking about making videos. Because doing so without question will help you establish a stronger connection with your audience. That's why in this video, I want to reveal some strategies that you can do right now for your YouTube marketing in 2021 so you hopefully can get to your first 10,000 subscribers. But of course, let's first address the elephant in the room because our channel doesn't quite have 10,000 subscribers yet. But in our case, it's only a matter of time. We've been taking YouTube seriously for the last four months and recently gained 702 new subscribers in the last 30 days. And we're growing faster every single month. So I wanna share with you some of the things that we're doing to achieve this growth and by the way, thank you to everyone who's been subscribing and watching our videos. Okay, let's go ahead and dive in with our first 2021 YouTube marketing tip, okay? Step number one, establish your goal. Just like any other social media platform, the main reason that people come is to learn or be entertained on a specific platform. And if you can do both as a YouTuber, you're already one step ahead of the competition. So if you're a small business and you're looking to promote your business, then you're more likely going to want to do some education for your audience, while at the same time establishing yourself as a thought leader on a particular topic. And a big thing you need to know about YouTube is this, okay? I've noticed that the majority of users are at the beginning stages of their knowledge on most topics. So if you're gonna make videos on YouTube, then you need to understand that most of the viewers may not be highly qualified leads because they need more education and more time to get to know you, and most importantly, to understand the value that you bring. So once you understand and fully accept this fact, then you can move on to establishing your goals. And like most things, once you establish your goal, then you will be able to easily see which path or which strategy you need to take in order to achieve your goal. So let's quickly look at a marketing funnel, which by the way, I break down this fully in my marketing management video, which I'll link up above. So in the marketing funnel, you have the awareness, interest, consideration, intent, evaluation, and purchasing phases. Most, not all, but most of your organic viewers will come in at the awareness level. Then it's gonna be up to you to move those organic viewers down to the interest level down to the consideration level and so on so if you're okay with this then that means you're okay with committing to what a a long-term strategy or b a short-term strategy if you said long-term strategy then you're correct a long-term strategy is great because it can give you some long-term benefits the content that you make today can have a compounding effect and bring in new viewers for years to come However, you're gonna to have to really commit and be willing to put in some work yourself and possibly hire a small team to help you out. So a goal that is most related to this long-term strategy would be, of course, to generate more brand awareness. And you'll need to keep this in mind with all your YouTube marketing that your goal is more awareness. Because the second that you change your strategy for more awareness to something like going to the intent phase or the evaluation phase, then you're gonna completely blow up your strategy, all right? So if a long-term strategy is just out of the question, then you still can opt for a short-term strategy with your YouTube marketing. So going back to the marketing funnel, you have the potential to skip straight to the consideration or intent level with the power of YouTube advertising. 
which we'll get into a little bit more specifically later in this video. But for now, the most important thing to understand is that with YouTube advertising, you're going to need to spend some money now and pretty much spend money forever for as long as you want to generate traffic. That means if you want to keep attracting new viewers, new visitors, then you'll constantly need to pay for more views. And a goal most related to a short term strategy would, of course, be more quality traffic, leads and even some sales. OK, so now that we have that foundation, let's go ahead and get into some strategies, starting with strategy number one, leverage external audiences. OK, this YouTube marketing strategy is mainly for anyone looking to grow organically or for the long term. And this is a gimme, but of course, it's still often overlooked. Hey, Sean, look, I can use my external force to move things out of the way. OK, not that kind of external resources. What I mean is that if you are online, if you have any kind of base whatsoever, regardless of how large or small your base is, then you need to use that base to build your YouTube audience. You can use your email list to send out email newsletters whenever a new video releases. You can embed your videos into your website or your blog. You can use all your social media channels like Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and whatever else you have. You can even send text messages and campaigns or put a sign up in your physical location that talks about your YouTube channel. OK, so the main message here is that if you have any kind of existing audience, then use it. For us, about 30 percent of our traffic and views come from our external resources. So this helps us out a lot. And speaking of us, if you're new to the channel, hey, I'm Sean with Life Marketing, a digital marketing agency that saves businesses from bad marketing and no growth. If you're enjoying this video so far, then please make sure you hit that like button and you subscribe to our channel for more valuable marketing tips. And if you're already subscribed, welcome back. And as always, thank you so much for being a part of our growing community. All right, now let's move on to our second strategy for YouTube marketing in 2021, which is to create valuable YouTube content consistently. This approach will apply for anyone who's looking to do a short term or long term strategy. Although since I use the word consistently, it is a little bit more skewed to a long term strategy. But either way, if you're going to be creating videos on YouTube, then you better make sure that people actually want to watch them. And the best way to ensure your chances of success is by making sure you're bringing value to your audience. All right. As we mentioned earlier, people on YouTube like to learn and be entertained. So what are some ways that you can create value? I'm going to do a quick rapid fire of six ideas to help you get started. Number one, Q&A. Take some questions and give some answers. OK, it's no secret that in 2021, I'm a big fan of going live and interacting with your audience in real time, because then you can bring some immediate value and connection to your audience. Number two, humor. If you're someone who's charismatic and you can make people laugh, then this is definitely something that you can take advantage of in your YouTube marketing. Number three, go BTS, otherwise known as behind the scenes. People love to go behind the curtain and see how things are actually made or operated or just see what your life is like. Some YouTubers have millions of subscribers just by doing a daily vlog about what their life is like. Number four, breaking news. If you can be the first to share your opinion about some breaking news around your industry, then that is a surefire way to bring some immediate value. Number five, tips and tricks. Just like this video, bringing value to people by sharing your experience and tips can be a great way to bring value. Number six, case studies or before and afters. I've been working out a lot lately and I personally love a good transformation video that explains what they did before they achieved their level of success. So there you have it. There are six ideas to help you get started, but the possibilities here are endless. OK, the key is to think carefully about what it is your audience may want and bring that to them in video form. OK, moving on to strategy number three, which is YouTube SEO. OK, so SEO stands for search engine optimization and is something that is commonly practiced on text rich search engines like Google and Bing. 
but you can also do SEO on YouTube, which is basically the process of optimizing your videos to show up when someone searches for a topic related to your video. For example, when we search for marketing budget on YouTube, then our video on how to calculate your marketing budget shows up. Now, if you're taking a long-term organic YouTube marketing approach, then this has to be in your strategy, okay? Now to implement this, the first thing you need to do is think about what it is your audience may be searching for or do some research. So it becomes even more important to know who your audience is and what they want to know. Once you have that down, then you need to move on to some technical optimization. A lot of this happens when you're uploading your new video. So some of the basics that you need to have are Number one, you have to have your target search keyword in the video title. Number two, you have to optimize your video's description. Number three, you have to have added relevant and related tags to your video. Number four, you have to properly categorize your video. And number five, you wanna add a custom thumbnail to grab viewers' attention. Now, believe it or not, this is only scratching the surface and there's a lot more you need to know about YouTube SEO. So if you wanna see us do a dedicated video and share more about what we know around YouTube SEO, then make sure you tell us in the comment section below. For now, let's go ahead and move on to our number four strategy for YouTube marketing, which is to use YouTube ads. Now in 2020, we spent $11,005.80 on YouTube ads from August 1st, 2020 to December 31st, 2020. YouTube ads are a great way to reach more people at a very affordable cost. For many of our videos, our cost per view was on average just about 10 cents. Now, how does YouTube ads work? So first you need a video. So you wanna refer back to strategy number two and make sure you're uploading some great content. Once you have your video uploaded on YouTube, then you'll need to head over to your Google ad account. Now, why your Google ad account? Well, if you didn't know, Google actually owns YouTube. So all the YouTube advertising is done through their ads manager. You'll wanna start a new video campaign and then choose your targeting. The targeting for YouTube ads are extremely powerful and what allows you to get straight to that consideration and intent phase that we talked about earlier. So for example, if you wanna target someone who is specifically looking for, let's say dog walking services, and you can input that keyword into your targeting. Even more, Google has what's called in-market audiences. So based on a user's search behavior, Google can tell what users may be likely to buy in the market. For example, there's an in-market audience for people who are looking for pet supplies. You can also include or exclude certain age groups or genders to ensure that you're paying for the people that you actually want to reach. So if you have a product or service that is geared more to males than females, then YouTube ads allow you to target one or the other. Then once you launch your YouTube ad, you wanna make sure you're monitoring it and making sure that the costs aren't rising too high and that your ad is active and is actually serving to your desired audience, which is exactly what we do for our clients every day here at Life Marketing. Now, since you made it this far, I have a bonus strategy for you, which is simply to combine all the strategies in this video. Okay, if you want fast growth, fast results, then try combining some of these strategies. Okay, sure, you can stick to just one, but doing them all gives you more speed. And this is exactly what we did for our YouTube channel. And as a result, in the last 30 days alone, we've been able to generate 2,600 new subscribers on two different YouTube channels, which is why we're so confident that we will definitely break 10,000 new subscribers this year. So give it a shot and start making some videos and leverage the power of YouTube marketing. And by the way, I often get asked, how long should my videos be? So last week I made a good video on video length, not just for YouTube, but for all social media channels, which you can check out in the link above. All right, so that's it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, please make sure you like this video so other people just like you can find out more about YouTube marketing. And make sure you're subscribed so that you'll get notified the next time one of our videos drop. All right, that's all I got. As always, thank you so, so much for watching. I'm Sean, and I'll see you in my next video.